2002 Beetle is equipped with the highly popular turbo diesel engine TDI and in this case it's a 1.9 liter which also has that code name ALH let's go and see together today how we can replace the serpentine or drive belt tensioner assembly to create nice visibility for myself on this side of the engine I will start with removing this air pipe safely lift the front of the vehicle on both sides to gain good access to this side of the engine I will go ahead and remove that intercooler pipe it's this one so there are two clamps one second and here is 10 millimeter bolt holding it and the last thing is to remove this plastic shield that gives me finally first time of the view this side of the engine you can see the tensioner this is the main pulley you can see the alternator small pulley with that plastic cap so this is very nice and exciting in order to remove this drive or serpentine belt from this engine you have to release tension from the belt to do so I will use the socket number 16 millimeter and I will place it on the tensioner assembly as you can see right there now going away from me towards to the vehicle when I push this tool that as you can see releases tension on the belt and I can use the other hand which is holding camera right now I can use the other hand and remove the table so I will put the camera down and do that always before you remove the belt make sure you remember exactly how the belt was going over all those pulleys now we have finally our uh, drive belt or serpentine belt off we are ready to replace that belt tensioner assembly and I will start with uh, loosening that shock and uh, removing that top 13 millimeter bolt which is right here now uh, putting away the shock gives me a really nice view uh, uh, and access to the three bolts which are holding the tensioner assembly this is the one which is easy to see and it's a number 13 millimeter this is the second one I'm just getting out now let me put that socket on the third one you can see it it's down there you see the socket moving that's a number three bolt here you can see both tensioners assembly side by side of course installation will be just a reverse what we just have done so just uh, follow those steps in the reverse order and I hope that this video was helpful to you I wish you a lot of luck by wrenching on your own TDI and definitely stay tuned because the more videos like this one it's coming very soon in the future thank you for your time and have a wonderful day